What's going on y'all man, it's your boy Chase Vibes back with another video And as y'all can see from the title, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create bounce in your drums So let's just go ahead and get right into the video hey, hold up, hey. Alright y'all, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I create bounce in my drums uh, I have a pretty well understanding of it now Majority of the time it's just the bounce in your hi-hats So I'm really going to be diving in depth with the hi-hats uh, if you guys don't know, I'm damn near like a hi-hat god. He like a hi-hat god, kind of. Yeah, I've been working on this new hi-hat midi kit called the Vibes Effect hi-hat midis and a uh, loop kit for you guys. It has like 17 hi-hat midis, 15 bonus loops I'm going to be throwing in there, and then 37 hi-hat midis. I'm going to be using some of these, showing you guys how you can create bounce using these, and then also teaching you guys how to create bounce from scratch for yourselves. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, y'all, so I got some drum sounds pulled up from my Celestial drum kit. You guys can go get that if you want to check that out. So let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that I do typically whenever creating drums is I'll mess with this little shift knob just a little bit right over here. And what this does is just move your drums off of the grid a little bit, which also really helps you create bounce. So first thing that I'll do is lay down my clap, rim, or snare. In this case, I have a rim that I'm going to be using. This is the loop that I got from my boy Jackic on Splitmind. Y'all make sure to go follow him on Instagram at Jackic. So I'm going to go ahead and place the rim down on the three, move this over. Bam. Also what really helps with creating bounce in your drums is making sure that your drums are leveled reasonably well. So what I typically do for the clap snare or rim is I'll keep it hitting on about three dB. So you can go ahead and turn this up. Right in between the three and the six is a pretty good sweet spot. So now that I got that, I'm gonna go ahead and play it with the loop. Got a nice little vibe going. I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of these hi-hat midis. Um, as you guys can see, I labeled them with the BPM just for like the best experience, but honestly, it doesn't matter. You could use them in really in any range, so. This one's hard. Ugh. It doesn't matter which one I use because they're all going to be bouncy. As you guys can see, I mess with the velocity as well. This is something really important that you should be doing with your hi-hats in order to like help create bounces, messing with the velocities. See these? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna mess with number five, 144 BPM, even though we're at 160. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and create some uh, drums. So I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add a little snare right here. What I'll typically do is like, if there's a roll, I'll add a snare right after this roll. So added a snare right here, which is at this roll right here. Get rid of these low hi hats. I hear like an open hat hitting like. open hat right here start messing with the 808s now
All right. So what I do with the 808s is pl place one here, moving the velocity all the way down so it stops it. Or what you could do is go over to the envelope, turn down the attack, turn up the hold, turn down the decay, the sustain, and the release. And what this does is stop it on command. So just like that. Or you can just do this. So. This, turn the velocity all the way down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I want to do like an 808 change for like the verse or something. So I'm going to do copy this, paste this in the spins one, and then just mess with this one. So my 808s to the mixer channel, put this one on nine, put this one on 10. I'm gonna make sure that they're both hitting on zero DB cause that's like a sweet spot for 808s. Turn this one up a little bit. There we go. Make sure this one's hitting on zero as well. Turn this one down. Perfect. I'm gonna add another little roll right here. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hold it and make it stop right here. So, and it stops. So, that's hard. Mess with some of the other hi hat midis, see if I can find like a different bounce. Yeah, nah, this one, yeah, this one's it. I'm gonna send these other ones to the Mitzer channel. I'm gonna go ahead and split this channel, make sure everything's unmuted. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange this. So I'm gonna have like the big step of 808 hit first, and then I'm gonna have it drop into the spins. So Play it like this. Drop back into the flute. The way I'm gonna arrange this is just eight bar intro. I'm gonna have a 16 bar hook and then 16 bar verse. And I want this to drop like almost immediately. So I'm gonna change the grid to step. I'm gonna move this to where it drops on this rim. Move this over. I don't want everything to come in at once cause I don't want the artist or like the listener to be overwhelmed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this reverse open hat. I'm gonna take out this low laser and then I'm gonna bring in this snare for the second part of the eight bars. So this is what we're gonna have. Drops into the spins. You guys can see I brought in the open hat. I brought in the laser and the snare. I'm gonna take the same ones out for the for the verse. Switch up the 808s. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm. All right, I'm gonna take out these hi-hats and I'm gonna mess with some of the hi-hat loops that I have and just see if I can create some t different type of like bounce or whatever. Try this one.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop this up a little bit and do like some like reverse open hats and stuff. So like right here, I'm gonna drag this one down, make unique. And now I'm gonna reverse this. Just see what this sounds like. I'll just copy and paste this over and just, that way it just repeats itself. All right, let's see what this sounds like now. Alright y'all, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. If this was helpful, make sure to drop a comment below. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Make sure to go get the Vibes Effect Hi-Hat MIDI and Loop Kit dropping very soon in the next couple days after this video. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. Make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Chase Vibes. Check out my sound kits on Drumify.com. And I'm out. Let him know.